Hey everybody, yeah, Curious here. Welcome back to The Long Dark. Season 1, episode 37. So here we are. Uh, in the, uh, gas station. And, uh, yeah. It's almost daybreak. Pretty well rested. I think I'm gonna go rest for a little bit longer, actually. And, um, we're still working on the, uh, on the, on the coat here. So, take a look at that here. The bear skin coat. And we got another 15 hours to go. We might be able to get it done in the next day and a half. Uh, we also suffered a little bit of, in the last episode, we suffered a little bit of a, a cabin fever. But it looks like uh, we, 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 let, we went ahead and absorbed that and uh, just, you know, fought through that for 24 hours. Didn't sleep indoors. And uh, I thought it was going to reset everything, but apparently not because we're already back up to 50%. So we might get it again. But that's all right. We'll deal with it. So what I'm going to do here is get a little more something to drink here. And uh, when we get this coat done, I'm thinking maybe we'll go for... Oh, let me take a look here. Let me take a look. Before I get any grandiose ideas, <laughs> let's make sure that one moose hide. Hmm. That gives you 11 pounds more carry capacity just for getting this. I think we might go hunting for a moose. I think it'd be a good idea, if, especially if we're going to go do some adventuring down around the... Uh, the end of the rail, uh, the railroad tracks there at the maintenance yard and in that area. And then maybe also Milton, probably be good to have that extra little bit of carry capacity. So I think we'll, we'll do that. There is one available in, and I think there is one available in Hush River Valley. I don't know if it's true in, uh, in interloper sandbox or not, but, uh, at the top of the, uh, at the top of the hill where the smoke is, normally there's a satchel hanging up there. I don't know if it's guaranteed or not though. So I, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. Uh, anyway, let me see here. Okay, so let's just sleep for... Let's sleep for three, see how we do. We got plenty of water on board, so no worries there. And when we wake up, we'll be ready to go. Alright. So, yeah, I probably slept a little bit too long there, because the sun's up a little bit higher than I wanted it, but that's alright. No big deal. And it sounds like it's wicked nasty outside. So let's see here. Cabin risk. Oh, I swear I just saw it tick up when I uh, entered this menu. But uh, let's uh, get some of the drink here. We'll do about five hour increments here, I think. It'd be nice to have this uh, coat, though. I am ready for it to happen. All right. So I'm, uh, let me see. I don't know if I, I don't think I'm going to worry about my hunger right now. I'll worry about that after we get the moose. And then before we start making our big uh, travel plans all over the rest of the regions that we haven't explored yet. So... We'll, we'll just do our uh, normal uh, hibernation style gameplay just to conserve a little bit of food since we're out here and we are a little bit uh, low on food at the moment unless I drop some out front in the main area I'm not sure maybe I did I will die if I oh. get food soon I was actually gonna use the uh, hatchet but I guess if you double click on it it selects it <laughs> didn't really mean to do that. Oh, so it wasn't, I did five hours and it was 15, but apparently because of my crafting skill or my, I should say my mending skill, I'm guessing that actually uh, caused it to be a little bit less time because obviously I got like seven hours worth of credit there for five hours worth of work. So, hey, I'll take it. And where are we at now? Okay, I think maybe we can get this done tonight and then maybe we can get back over to the, uh, if we're not too tired. Let's see. Wow, that's our fatigue. Oh yeah, we're not tired at all. Um. I think maybe we'll be able to get over to... So we're going to need to do a little bit more than five. We'll try six and see if that takes care of the whole coat. Maybe. We might have like 0.12 hours left. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, No, let's not do that. Let's do this one. All right. See what happens. Yeah, we'll get it done before nightfall. We're going to get it done today. I like it. All right, did we get it done? Two hours left. Oh, no. I don't think I have two hours worth of daylight left though. We're gonna have to stay here for the night. Plus it's really nasty out there. So there we go. Sprain wrist healed. I think I think I got some food here. Didn't I? Oh yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. I forgot about all this meat that I dropped until I started. So let's just go ahead and eat that. And let's eat that. I can't make up its mind. It's like you're healed, you're not healed. You're healed, you're not healed. Eh, well, let me eat it from there. So let's go ahead and take it from here and eat it from here. There we go, because it's ruined. It's like you can't eat ruined food unless you do it a different way. 
Okay. There we go. We should have uh, 750 some calories. That's about perfect for us. Uh, we're not super tired. That's the thing. Hmm. I don't know. If the Aurora comes tonight, we might be able to finish it in the middle of the night. So why don't we try sleeping for... Uh, I don't really... Huh. Hmm. Well, what do I want to do here? Uh, it's really nasty outside. Not much to do. I could just... Uh, I could just stress eat. Start eating all this stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's just head on back. Well, I'm getting all lost here. I looked away from the screen and then I came back and I'm like bumping into things. Okay. What the heck? Let's just try f three hours, see if we get lucky with the uh, Aurora. Maybe we'll do two hours. Yeah, let's just do two hours, see where we're at. With this blizzard, I don't think I've ever had an Aurora during a blizzard. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I have. Oh. But it's stopped now, so maybe the Aurora will show up tonight. It's not quite midnight. Normally it comes around midnight, so let's do... Let's do an hour. Or two hours. Let's do two hours. Oh my gosh, the summer's been busy. Been doing a lot of fun things with the family. And it's, you know, unfortunately the... The, uh, the amount of uh, gameplay I've been doing has been... Uh, not as much as I us usually do. Right now. But, uh... Definitely having a lot of fun with the family. What's out here? One degrees. Air temperature is negative 31. Oh, it's cold. It's mighty cold. I don't know. It's 74%. We're getting cabin fever. Might as well, might as well just embrace it. Could sleep out here for an hour and then sleep in there for, or then hang out in here for an hour and then sleep out here. Do that. If worse comes to worst, rather right, we can do that. We can start a little fire if we have to, as long as the wind isn't coming in at the exact right angle to put it out. But what I'm going to do here is, uh, I think I'm going to just get another hour of sleep. Maybe two hours. Let's do. And if the roar comes, it's going to be in the next hour, I think. So let's just come on. Give me some positive noise message, like noise cues here. Okay, 84 days, 9 hours, 9 minutes. Hey, we're going, I think we're going to make it to 100 days. I can't believe that. This uh, series started off really tough. It's really hard. Interloper's tough. If, uh, you got to know what you're doing at the start. Like, you got to make good use of your time at the start. And uh, it's sort of an uphill battle from there. But anyway, well, not much else I can do here, really. 76%. I could go hang outside for an hour. Let's just do that. Let's just hang out in a, in a truck for an hour. Get low. Should probably have my flare gun out, actually. We'll do that. Yeah, the wind's starting to kick up. See, this is a good little fire area. I mean, it's really hard to blow out, right? The only way it's going to get me is, like, if it comes straight this way. Uh, yeah, it's a good fire. This is a good spot for the fire. 7 degrees, so we'll get cold a little bit, but that's okay. I can interrupt passing time, so let's just go ahead and do that, and we'll stop right... Maybe a little bit more. Oh, sure, I'm getting cold. Okay, there we go. Let's get out. Get back inside. Clear that hypothermia risk. Eh. We're, we're, we're getting through the night. Yeah, I'll sleep in here for an hour. Okay. Knew that was gonna happen. 62 degrees inside here. Oh, I need to find food. Ooh, it's pretty outside, though. It's really pretty. It's like super bright. Wow. Oh man, there's a lot of nights I wish it was this bright. It's so just a full moon. All right, let's hop in here. Let's keep getting cold quick. I'm just standing here spectating. And uh, there we go. Good enough. Jesus, it's cold. I wonder if we can see a moose running around back there. No. 
Apparently I was on a little bit of a hill. Huh. Some weird bird no noises going on now. Oh, it's goddamn crazy. That's not so bad. Not so bad. And I think we can do another hour. This is like the most inefficient way to do it, but hey, not tired enough. Well, then we'll just pass time in the bed. There we go. Hey, my stomach is, is eating. Well, we were at 74%. Now we're down to 66 But man, you can never tell which way it's going to go from one hour to the next. Let me get the uh, old flare gun out just in case. I mean, we got plenty of condition, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh my gosh, that little kitten is hyper. Especially when I'm ready to go, like, sit down and start recording. Then it thinks it's playtime. And it wants to pester the big cat. So then the big cat ends up playing with it and then hissing at it. Can't make up his mind. Alright. Oh, there's a wolfie right there. <laughs> Let's get inside. Numb. See? Right there. Such a dangerous area. I don't like this area at all. I do like the... I do like the... The fact that we have a... A bench here and all that, but... That's about the extent of it. An indoor bench. Uh, yeah, it's ticking up again. <laughs> I don't know if it's just doing it every time or not. Like, every time I open it up. Let me try it again. Now it went down a little. I swear it went down. Just a, a, a tad. All right, whatever. Let's try sleeping for another hour. Hopefully by the time we wake up, the sun's going to be high enough. I don't think it will be. I think we're going to need going to need to pass maybe a half hour of time or something like that. <sighs> yeah, not quite ready. Uh, let's just go outside and do it. We're so close. So close to having that jacket ready to roll out of here. Ooh. Starting to look. Looks not so nice out here. Alright. Fine. There we go. I gotta warm up somehow. So cold. So 65, cold. 65. 65 percent cabin fever. It's inevitable. Unless I can get out of here. Oh, uh, let's... I think I'll be ready to go here in about half an hour. I don't think I need to really wait that long. Right about there. More than half the sun's up. I think we can start it. Let's try. I need a drink before I get started here. There we go. All right. Let's get this done before the weather changes and we get snowed in. Oh my gosh. Hold on one second. Silly, silly, silly kitten. <laughs> I just hear noises all over the place, and it's like getting into something. Like, it just can't just sit there and behave. It's got to, like, constantly try to be doing something that just, I'm like, no, you can't do that. Stop. It's, like, more difficult than having, like, a little baby. All right. Ah, I did it again. I don't know how I did it, because I thought I was clicking on the other one. Whatever. Whew, Whatever. Heavy. But to answer the question, we did get it done. Uh, we had enough light, so we got the new bearskin coat. Let's get another one. <laughs> you put the, can you wear two of those? I don't know why you couldn't. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one off and take this one off. Which one's the most water? Well, the bearskin's got to be more waterproof, waterproof right? That's 60%. That's 80%. Yeah. So we're going to put that one on the outside. Let's put this one on the inside. Wolf skin. And then we're going to put the bearskin on the outside. And now we got a warmth bonus of 38 degrees. Windproof 16. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Doing pretty good. I need some better socks. I only have one pair of wool socks, and I can really... I need another pair of underwear. I have a feeling we'll probably find some maybe in Milton, hopefully. Um, it's thermal underwear. Mm. Well, uh, yeah. Wool skin pants, or deer skin pants. Alright, let me take a look at my stuff see what needs to be repaired. I think some of the stuff that needs hides needs repaired. Yeah. So I need rabbit, deer. Oh, that's cured leather, I think, right? Let me double check. Repair. Cured, oh, deer hide and cured gut. We should have that back at the camp. We can fix that up real quick. 
probably today. We'll do that today. Assuming we don't run into any more issues. And uh, rabbit skin hat, we can we can repair those up as well. Um, everything else is looking really good except for these socks. We can definitely repair those up too. So, all right, let's get moving here. I'm gonna try to exit out the back here. And uh, I wanted to just leave what I have here. Got some water here in case I need it, like I did last time in a in a pinch. And I'm just gonna leave uh, some of this meat here. You know what? I think I'll. I think I'm gonna pick it up and put it over here so I don't. If I come in here in the middle of the night, I don't, and I'm hurting for food, I'm not gonna miss it. So I'm just gonna drop it right here, where I kind of have everything else. That's the idea, anyway. Let's just drop that. Yeah. All right. What the heck? Let's just eat one of these, just for the hay. Just for the hay of it. Okay. All right. Get low. Take a peek out here, see what... Looks like wind's starting to move. Looks like uh, some weather might be coming to set in. Okay, let's move up this way. The idea being at least I'm close to something if I need to get out of here. Quick. I would eat anything right now. Alright, so I'm carrying around that extra jacket. I'm going to put that in the... Uh, in our fishing camp main base. Uh, keep that in case one of these gets destroyed or something. I don't know. In case I, in case they add co-op multiplayer <laughs> to the game and I can give it to my friend. Kidding, kidding. Okay, man, it's jeez, it's really cold. Even though I got really good stuff on. And my, my sprint's a little bit lower, as you can see. I'm doing about 50% of what I would do if I was naked, basically. But, that's alright. We made it out of there. Without getting nibbled on. We'll take it. Alright, let's go ahead and run. I am a man in furs. They say I hate being cold. Yeah, you, you've said it once or twice. You've said it once or twice. We got a wolf over here. A couple wolves. So we're going to try to sneak past without getting noticed. Hopefully. That yeah, car's not going to be worth anything as far as shelter. So we're going to bypass this thing completely. I think I already got the trunk on this one. I think I've got the, yeah, I've got the trunk all, on that one already. God, never. You know, guys, I'm, I'm thinking about... Because I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit into the grind. It feels like a little bit of a grind playing uh, The Long Dark over and over and over again. I love the game still. And every time I get going in it and I have time to do it, it's, it's a, lot, a lot of fun. But I don't want to just, you know, get basically pigeonholed into only playing The Long Dark. So I'm trying to think of some other things. My branch out start doing a little bit of a simulate, simulation or strategy games. I know I really enjoyed, uh... Oh, what was it called? Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it. The one I just played, the city building game. We start off, uh, the Dawn of Man. Uh, it was, it was Dawn of Man, wasn't it? I just came up with the name of it. I didn't... I tried, it's Dawn of Man. Yeah, okay. Um, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, a lot. I'm thinking about playing Tropico 6. I have to buy it, though. I'm kind of waiting for a sale. I think I just missed the sale. But, uh, I think I'm gonna try that one. I'd like to get Havana Fabulous. Plus, it'd be nice to, like, see some sunlight and some warmth. Where, uh, where people aren't freezing to death. So, I don't know. We'll get there. It's, I'm not in a huge rush to start one right now. Start a new series right now or anything like that. Um, but... It's just, you know, varieties of Spice of Life, right? So, kind of feel the same way for me playing and for you guys watching at the same time. Let's get inside. The log sort. Oh, it's cold. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and relax. Get some sleep. Do an hour. See how you feel in an hour. There we go. I'm getting weak. Hmm. We can we can start a fire now though, with the magnifying glass. So we get a free fire if we want it. 
Now, is there gonna be a wolf over here? That's the big question. If so, I'm gonna double back. Not today? Hopefully. Probably run if he is here. Okay, let's just make a run for it. There's home, home sweet home. All right. So, I think what we do now is we head on over to Ravine and do the hunt for the moose where I got the moose, my first moose the last time, uh, just outside the Hydra Dam. That seems like a pretty good spot. I like that area right there. Good cover. Um, there's a nice safe outside cave. Uh, I can take um, I can take coal with with me, and we, if we need to, we can, you know, because of uh, cabin fever, we can stay in that cave and be pretty darn safe from the elements. And if we can't, then you know we can always go hang out in the uh, trailers outside of Hydra Dam. So. Beautiful day. Okay. How is my, uh, 68%? Okay. What is it? Eight degrees? And that's not too bad. Feels like eight degrees. It's not actually eight degrees. It's a lot, a lot less than that. Let's get inside and start doing some, oh, you know what? We'll probably come out here and do repairs. We'll, we'll stand outside and do repairs outside of our cabin. And when we need to, we'll dip, dip back inside, warm up. And, uh, Rinse and repeat till we get our all of our stuff uh, repaired. So again, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on. Wait, did the food disappear? No, it's still there. Okay, <laughs> just didn't load in yet. But didn't appear on the screen. I was like, that's not good. <laughs> we got some new. Uh, we're gonna go in a new direction. I guess getting a moose wouldn't be too bad. Is that you're gonna get like a ton of meat off of that thing. What is it like 80 pounds or something? It's a lot. More than more than a bear. It's a lot more than a bear. All right, let's get inside. And let's see if I can uh, grab the things I need here. So here we got a cured deer hide. I need that. I need a gut. And uh, hopefully, here. Let me see if I can. Do I have any room here to drop anything? I don't. I don't know if that coat's gonna fit in there or not. The uh, or the Mackinac jacket. Where's that thing at? There it is. Ooh, it will. I think it will. Yes. Ooh, no, maybe not. Oh, I think we're 0. 0.7 pounds. Yeah. 0. 0.7 pounds shy. Let me grab a cat tail stock. Just one. I think that should do it. There it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So there we go. That's in there. Everything else is looking pretty good. And we're down to 65 pounds, which is nice. Just barely. We're almost at 68, 66 pounds. Um... But we are carrying materials to repair that. Uh, um, let me see here. How do I want to do this? Do I want to repair in here or do I just want to step outside? Let's see how long it's going to take. I guess that would be the, the determining factor here. I could probably do the socks outside real quick. Yeah. Let me see here. Let me turn the boots. See how much. This is going to be like an hour and a half to repair or something. An hour and 16. Yeah, I don't really want to stay out that long. Um because I'm only halfway warmed up. So let's just do the socks outside real quick. Should only take like 20 minutes or something. 38 minutes. Hmm. Or I can hang out in here. 38 minutes. You know what? Let's let's do the socks. Let's do that inside. And then we'll be warmed up because we're going to have to warm up inside anyway. So let's repair these. Cloth. Yep. Looks good. Looks good to me. What else we got? Fishing tackle, fishing tackle. Yeah. Stick with that. Okay, there we go. 100%. That's good. Still at 38 degrees. When I think I think when I repair up these fur items, uh, the hands, head, and uh, the uh, those are 69. I can do two of those. I might need to go hunt a deer. Uh, I don't have another deer skin here, do I? I might have one. I haven't really killed a lot of deer. How many deer have I actually killed? That might answer the question here. Let's take a look here. Oops, that's the wrong screen. Let's take a look here. How many deer have I actually killed? Just one? Two. The question is, have I used... Have I? You know, there's also deer that are dead laying around, too. 
Hmm, I could go out here and get the hide off of this deer, I think. The one that's, or is that a dead guy? Is that a dead deer or a dead guy? Can't remember. Let's go ahead and repair those boots first, though. So, let's get low. Okay, and we'll stay close so I can, in case something happens here, I can get right inside. I think we should be safe here, though. Okay, let's uh, do repair before I freeze to death. Standing out here talking about it. Repair, yes, go. Make it, make it happen. I'm gonna be a little bit cold, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. but we got it done. We got it done. You see that? That really, the the condition really started to drop pretty quick. Cold is the absolute worst. Up, a bit. No. All right, so we got that done. Let's grab another gut and uh, let's do ooh, let's do a pelt and let's go for our mitts. It's in the worst condition. Repair. 33. We'll get close to being 100% close. Not quite, though. All right, now it's only 25 minutes for the... I should have done the... Uh, the socks took longer than that. That's amazing. So, yeah, 87%. Not too bad. All right. Should be... Uh, we're only halfway warmed up. Let's do another rabbit pelt and a cured gut. And let's just do the other one. The hat here. This should be close to 100%. I think we're going to be in the mid-90s when we're done here. Oh, it's going to be 100%. It'll top out, yeah, so we're going to be good there. All right. Eh, we were at 38 degrees when we came here from the gas station, so let's see where we're at now. Up to 43 degrees warmth bonus. Look at that. Oh, baby. That's that's not bad. I, that's not bad. And then we still need to do the wolfskin pants. So we're fully warmed up. Let's go outside and see if we can maybe get one from over here. Do we still have sun? Direct sun? I think we do. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Did we lose our chance? Yeah, I guess we did. I was going to say I could start a fire over here. 16 degrees. We might be able to get most of it done. Let's run over here. I can't remember if this is a dead guy or a deer. I think it was a deer. No, it's a dead guy. It's a dead, it's a dead dude. Hmm. I don't want to get these. You know, I'll probably come across a deer carcass on the way over there. So, I'm not too worried about it. Let's, uh... Let's see here. What do I want to do? Let's grab some food. Recover some condition. I don't know if I want to hunt a deer right now. Probably could. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's... I think maybe I'll bring one of those deer over here. Try to bring it down. I can. Or I might use one of the wolves, actually. If I can find a wolf around here to help me with this. That's an easy way to get deer skins. Uh, no deer out. There are no wolves out. That'll save me some arrow. I'm not really worried about the meat. I'm more worried about the hide. I can let the wolf eat as much of the hide as he wants. Uh... I don't really see a wolf anywhere. Where's a wolf when you need one? Okay. Well. I don't know. Alright, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I think I changed my mind. Maybe I'll take one shot. Okay. Alright. Should be coming back here shortly. He should stop here in a second. Here we go. And he's going to come straight back. Wait for him to stop and then I'll pop up here. They really, they turn and run so fast. Hey, you know what? I missed him. Went over his back. I got him. That was a good shot. The second one was. First one, not so much. First one skipped. It's over here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Let's get this hide off of him first. 
And 28 minutes. Let's do that. All right, there we go. Let's go get warmed up, shall we? Starting to feel numb. Can't believe I'm not even not even cold yet. That's 21 degrees. It's really not bad. Feels like 21. Uh, with the wind chill, it's like negative 30. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's cold out. I thought that wind chill would uh, we'd actually be pretty warm right now. If the wind would just stop blowing. Be much better. Alright. So let me drop this thing right here. Back back here in this corner. That's sort of my deer hide area. And we'll drop that. Boom good to me. Perfect. Got some cloth here. Let's see what else. Is there anything else that I really want to get to right now? Mm, the hat could use a repair. Let's do that. The hats are too valuable. You don't want to lose those. Of course I do have the other uh, rabbit hat, but you can't stack those. So it's important for me to keep this hat because I can stack this with the rabbit hat. So let's repair this. Ugh. I wonder what my mending's at now. It was like just a start, just a little bit, maybe 10%, 15% into the level three. Okay, yeah, it's gone up a little bit. Not, it's like 20% now. So, I like that. 10% greater item uh, condition increase. That's nice. Okay, so we can go back out there and grab some of the meat off of that get some more guts too and then I need to sharpen those knives I might need to go make a couple extra because I'm going to start running out of whetstones here in a minute so I'm going to need to start manufacturing more knives and hatchets and I'm still on my original ones right now as it stands so Okay, let's do uh, two guts. Yeah, it's faster with the hatch or the knife, huh? Cold, but not too cold. All right, maybe we can get that last. Yeah, it will be a little cold, but we're gonna be all right. Let's get, we're super stinky. Is heavy. Super stinky. We'll put this out here for cooking later. Oh, we can uh, actually start a fire. I might want to go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and start doing a little cooking here. Get this deer all cooked up, shall we? So let's uh, start this fire here. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> sewing primer. Yeah. Uh, grab a couple of these. And we shall get this started here. Get most of it cooked up, hopefully. Come on, little fire. No worries. I think we got it. I do like how it defaults to the magnifying glass every time, so I don't accidentally strike a match or something. So I do like that. A 2% torch? Gosh, I might as well just throw that in there, huh? <laughs> Alright. We got a couple hours worth of burn time there. Let's cook, cook some of this up. 32 minutes, still ready. We're gonna start warming up here. Nice and warm. 48 degrees in here. Yeah, I could go collect some sticks. And we got some cedar wood here. Uh, there's a big cedar log over there. And the temperature being what it is, I might actually go after that. Let me see here. Can I actually... I think I... 
Yeah, I don't have any whetstones. Maybe I need to go... 26 minutes. I mean, I'll throw on another piece of meat and then run over there real quick. Grab a, See if I can find a whetstone. And then come back. Let me check and see if I have one over here real quick. Wait, I just didn't drop the meat. Let's drop the meat first. That'd probably be a good idea. Considering. We're overweight. Boom. Now we're underweight. There we go. Alright. I don't think I have one in here. I think I am out uh, of whetstones here. Maybe I have one more up there. Another good reason to go exploring a little bit. But if we need to craft some more, no big deal. We'll do that in... Uh, we have the tools necessary to do that. And we'll do that over in the... Uh, uh, forlorn muskeg. Okay, let's take a look around here. There's the quality tools. Pretty sure I do need quality or tools at least for, to, for uh, making knives and hatchets. Uh, quality tools probably gonna help out uh, with making it happen faster. Okay, so I'm not seeing any. Too bad you can't like make a whetstone. Sorry for the meowing in the background. They've added. They've added little key cats to the uh, to the game, in case you didn't know. Okay. All right. Well, we'll throw on another piece of meat, then we'll run up to the uh, Jackrabbit Island, see if we can maybe get lucky, find one there. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? Let's. Uh, I didn't drop the guts, did I? Still running around with the guts. Let's drop these guts. All right, let's head on back here. There's another, there's another, I think, it, is that a branch up there? Or is that a uh, limb? I can't tell. Just in case. All right, how much time we got left there? Plenty of time. Okay, so let's throw... Let's get a big one. Okay, you come with me, and you go in. It won't let me do that. That's too bad. So I gotta actually pick it up. Don't eat it. Alright. 32 minutes. Let's move. Let's move with purpose. I don't rest Should be alright. Should be alright, because we have, like, technically we have an hour and 32 minutes to make this trip before it burns. I'd really rather get back, though, so we can get another steak going. But... I don't see any wolves over here, so I'm going to actually go up this side, I think. Ha! Yeah, they're all hanging around the back. They're... Having a beach party. Not too hateful at all. 25 degrees. Alright, can I make it up this way? I don't know if I can make it up that hill. No, I can make it up this hill. I'm, gonna make it, I'm just gonna go up this side right here. There's a bunny rabbit hopping around up there. That's a good sign at least. I should go beachcombing. That'd be cool if I could get a uh, whetstone off the beach. Never seen that happen, but... Has anyone actually ever got a whetstone off the beach? Or have you seen somebody get one off the beach? Or not the beach, but you know what I'm saying. Off the ice. They call it beachcombing. That's why I'm saying it. Oh, 
Hey, hey, there was a rabbit here. Yeah, I'm not even worried about it right now. Hey, we got one here, though. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. We'll, we'll take this back to the, uh, we'll take that rabbit back to the, uh, fire and, uh, take care of it there. Yeah, no, right now I'm level one stinky. Okay. Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. Those are all sewing kits that are 100%. Are these all 100%ers? Yeah, they look like it. A lot of scrap metal. A oh, ruined t-shirt. Let's see. Okay, Thor's hammer. Oh, yeah, that's what I need. I need to take a heavy hammer with me. Ah, what's done? Perfect. Aha, we still got one more left. You know what? I'm just going to take the other one with me. I'm going to need it over there more than I will here. I'm going to take a Thor's hammer. As <laughs> I drag it along. I think it's heavy. It's heavy. What can you say? It is, it is. That was a nice little trip. Hopefully they didn't load in a bunch of wolves. <laughs> Sorry, if there's a bunch of wolves, that rabbit's going to get eaten. Man, that's some nice, uh, nice little area. You can set it with, like, one fire here and uh, chop up a bunch of wood. Especially, especially in this temperature, which isn't too bad. If the wolves leave you alone, that is. I mean, you gotta get the fire going to keep the wolves off you. All right, don't sprain your ankle here. Mc or, uh, I almost called her Mackenzie again. Astrid. Beautiful day, though. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I have a feeling tonight it's going to be a uh, Aurora night. Just had that gut feeling. Oh, I, just lay down <laughs> I took like one half sprint step and it was like, oh, you're too tired. That's no worries. No worries. I'm so slow that the deer don't even care. They're like, no way. I'm just gonna slowly meander away from you and I'll keep you at a safe distance, young lady. I'm like, okay, I don't even care. I need to go back and revisit Strain of Deep also. Really, I really, really like that game. And there's a couple, like, boss battles that I've never done, that I've never done. I think, I'm trying to remember. One of them's a Kraken. Uh, so, I got the, I, I did, because I live-streamed the last time I played, uh, the last time I played, uh, Stranded Deep, and, uh, you know, they have the gyrocopter, which is kind of cool. When you island hop using an actual helicopter that you built yourself. And it flies pretty good, honestly. With, uh, biofuel made from potatoes. Alright, 23 until bird. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, let's see here, how much time we got left here. Now we're... Okay, well, let's do... Oh, I need another one of these? Okay. So be it. There we go, throw that on there. Happy, happy, happy. So while we're waiting for that... We'll just hang out here. It's nice and warm in here. And, uh, or two. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We'll be able to do a couple more stakes easy. And let's go ahead and do some sharpening while we wait. Stand up so I can keep an eye on this better. Put this away. I feel like I'm about to shoot off a flare by accident. Maybe though there is. You gotta press the right button, then the left button. To aim it, and then, then fire. So it's not really a huge risk, but, uh, all right, so let's repair these up. Yeah, I heard the uh, 
much time we got left? 40, oh yeah. It's taken 15 minutes basically to do 30 minutes worth of cooking. So. I think I get two sharpens and then it's pretty much done. Must be taking about 15 minutes for sharp, sharpen, I think. I think it's done now. Take a look here. Eight minutes. Beautiful night. Beautiful night. I could be getting, I could get these going as well. I don't know. I guess I could. How many more do I got? E yeah, okay. Let's do that. Let's do it. We'll add a fuel here. What the heck? Let's just use a coal since we got plenty of coal. And then I'll take a torch out of here. Oops. That's not what I want. Take torch. There we go. Now let's get this one started. And we'll use our torch here. Obviously magnifying glass is not going to work right now. And then we'll cook these at the same time. And uh... And we can get to sleep a little earlier, because we're really tired. Come on, little fire. Come on. So, what do you guys think I should do in the next episode? Uh, you think I should? I think I should go for the moose. Kind of would like to. Um, just because I get the moose, though, it doesn't mean. It's, oops, that's not what I wanted. There. That's a good. That's actually a really good torch. That's a keeper. That's a keeper, eh? Okay. And uh, let's do another one. Uh, 20 minutes. How much time before I can put on a coal? 22. Ugh. 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 So frustrating. Alright, let's throw on a piece of, uh, reclaimed wood. I guess that's probably all I'll need. This is just a reclaimed wood. Yeah. Uh oh The wind's blowing it out. Dang it, wind! Why you gotta be so annoying? Glad I didn't put a piece of coal on there. Stop it, wind. Oh, you're annoying. I hate you. Fine. I'll just do it this way. That is so annoying. It's like the longest eight minute fire I've ever seen. Can't make up my mind, it's going, going up half the time and then it's blowing smoke to the, to the right the other half of the time. I could have probably cooked one of these by now, almost. Ah. Should have started my fire back here. Little did I know. Oh well. Can I get a torch? I can't get a torch out of this, can I? <laughs> no. Nope. That was a, that was a waste. Waste of two sticks and a piece of uh, reclaimed wood. All right, let's do some more sharpening. I'll do one more after this. Must be 10 minutes. We'll see. Oh yeah, it is 10 minutes. So 10 minutes per sharpen. So I could, if I hurry here, oh, that's not what I wanted. Put that back on there. There we go. So, let's sharpen this up three times. We should be able to get it. Oh, I think we're going to come really close, but not quite. We'll see. Maybe we'll be able to cook it on the embers. Too heavy to carry. Yeah, we're not gonna get that third one done on this piece. Of, yeah, it's all right. I'm not too worried about. It. Let's uh. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Not a bad episode. Got a lot of good maintenance stuff done. Got that new bear coat. Brought down a deer. 
cooked up most of the deer. Recover from this is really helping with the uh, cabin fever, by the way. Oh, you know what? Let's stop there. I think I'm. Oh, no, I could have done one more. Let's do one more. She's getting so tired. Six minutes. Hmm. Twelve minutes left in there. I have something small. I just want something small. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. See the wolf there? Oh, ha, ha, ha. There's the wolf. Now, hold on. I can't run. I was going to go get that deer and start putting deer to the wolf just to get more hides, but uh, it's probably not a good idea. Probably not the best idea. He, what happened was he smelled all this food here. So. Raw venison. Cooked raw. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this here. A thousand calories, that's a big one. It's because of the cooking skill being higher. Uh, getting a bonus. Oh, there. Oh, you know why? It's because of the rabbit. Because I got this rabbit. I'm gonna drop the rabbit. You know what? Let's put the rabbit out here so it's frozen. Okay. Can I grab the rabbit and go? I don't... Hmm. Don't know if I want him to really... Oh, yeah. You sure you want to do this, bro? I will take you out. I will straight take you out. Oh, is he going that way? That's going to work out good for me, actually. When he re when he resets, this might end up good for me. Got him. All right. Oh, yeah, it's a good episode. All right, let's go out and get this one real quick. Hey, the Aurora. My gun instincts were right. You know, if you say it every night, eventually you'll be right. So... Oh, broken arrow. Broken arrow! I think I can use this. Oh, well. Uh, at least we got a wolf. Piece of a wolf. The temperature's starting to get cold. Feels like one degree. I'm gonna leave the wolf out here for now. Now nah, I might take a hide for now. Come out here and get him in the morning. Yeah, let's take the hide real quick. Before he gets frozen. Oh, not the guts. Hide. Hide, yeah. Okay. Good enough. Well, yeah, not a bad not a bad episode. A lot done within an hour. I'm happy with it. Those wolves are sneaky coming up on the back of that uh fishing hut there. Very sneaky. You gotta watch out for the bear. He might have reset by now. I don't know, it is like forty or fifty days. Never mind. I don't think he's come back quite yet. At least I think it's... That's from what I've read. It's like 40 or 50 days before he resets. Normally I don't do much reading in this game, but I, did, I was very perplexed as to where what happened to that bear. Of course, I did just kill him. But then I and then he ran up there. I was looking for him not too long ago, so... He's got a lot of a lot of time left to reset. So, we are uh, got a lot of food on board. And we'll go ahead and get our drink for the night. And, uh, yeah, I could drink tea, but, you know, we're not that bad with our condition, so I'm just going to recover normally. And, uh, let's just get a good, solid 10 hours of sleep here. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, you know, let's do 10 hours so I don't get penalized. Okay, there we go. Let's do 9 hours. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. All right, guys, looking at the clock, we're coming up on the 54 minute. We're at the 54 minute mark. So, we'll go ahead and see where we're at as far as our condition goes. Not bad. Get a drink. Take a look and see how all this wood's doing. That's all cured, isn't it? Oh, that's wonderful. Look at all that stuff. That's, that's beautiful. How's our cabin fever risk doing? 23%. Not bad. I think in the next episode, we're going to make our way over to uh, Man, all I can think about is food. Mystery Lake and try to do a uh, little bit of a... Oh, yeah. She's much more light on her feet there. She's feeling better this morning. But we'll try to get over there and do a uh, moose hunt. Should be interesting. See how many... I do have enough arrows. I think I have like five or six, don't I? Yeah, you know what? There's a real easy way to tell. 
There we go. Four plus one. No, make that. Okay. One plus three. Three plus one. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> we have four arrows error, total, total. So we should be fine. I think. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll make one more arrow out of what we've got left over. And, and I don't know. We'll see. But like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all take care.